Okay, part two. All I did was push a button and re-push, but this is part two for you. Okay, the joy of the Lord fill and flood you. We had a testimony in the group, the messenger group. You can join Tiavi TV Messenger. Just let me know. Send me a message um, on my Facebook, on Tiavi TV Facebook. Oh, wait, we don't have it. <laughs> they deleted our Tiavi TV Facebook. But there's a Tiavi Facebook. You can go join and, and message me there. And I'll join, and you can join in with us. But there's a testimony. <laughs> this brother that watched the video um, that I, I did, a, a, a prayer video in there in the group. And he had a testimony that he just felt God tickling, <laughs> tickling him, tickling him as he read. And we were just so filled and flooded with the joy of the Lord. I wanted to share that because Jesus is healing deep, dark places in you. He's healing and restoring your soul, warriors. He's healing and restoring your soul. He's flooding and filling you and healing the broken and opening blind eyes. Even today, even now, I speak that forth. Okay, my dream, I want to get to that. Last night, this is important because um, as we come out of darkness, the enemy doesn't like it. And he, and he tries to lure you back in. That's what this dream was about. And um, so, oh Lord, how much should I tell? Okay. So in this dream, I was with a, fr uh, a f somebody I knew that was like a friend driving in separate cars like we're doing. I was running errands for him and he was supposed to represent, I believe, after the dream of someone that could seem like a friend but has ulterior motives and might really be evil, uh, you know, wolf in sheep's clothing. So this happened, and uh, so I got into the room, and I said, no, I'm not going to go do that for you. He wanted me to do something else. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. So we, all of a sudden, I wasn't expecting it. He pulls out a big gun, held it to me, you're not going anywhere. Somehow, I, I grabbed another person in the room and grabbed the gun and held it to that person, said, I'm leaving here. And um, I knew it was an evil situation. I had to get out of there. I just knew that I knew it, I knew what it was now, and I had to leave. So right then, these darts shot and hit me all over. These little darts, they looked almost like toothpicks. I immediately knew that they were I had been drugged. And uh, so then I, I somehow wandered out of there in another scene. They were trying to show me pornography against, you know, against my will. It was right there in front of me. So I, I was looking at pornography. It doesn't matter what it was. It was a, a couple women doing stuff they shouldn't. But, it's not about that. A spirit of lust will try to draw draw you back in when you're when you're breaking away. It's a strong spirit in the in the um, enemies, you know. The enemy uses it. Okay, so two people came in that I, I guess I knew, and they said Tiavi, and I said, yeah, look look what they're trying to show me, and I go, no, Tiavi, don't look at that. Come away. And I told them what was going on, and. Um, I said in the dream that, that uh, I, I was trying to, to get help and get rescue and I couldn't figure out how to do the phone. You know, dreams are weird like that. I was It was like I was under a haze and under a spell too. And I, I was drugged and, and I was trying to get out of the situation and couldn't. And I told these people that the father wants me home. My dad wants me home, but I don't know how to get to him. <laughs> and I'm waking up from the dream and... You know, saying I, he wants me home, but I don't know how to get back home. He said I could come back home and live with him. It's hitting me now, people, that the father wants us home, but the enemy has him trapped in in drugs and, and lust and and veils of illusion. He, I've been there. I know, and as I break free, I can see these things that he tries to keep them there under the spell, but and he tries to draw us back with these same things. But as we, we surrender, that's the message this year that's been surrender since the beginning of this year. He's been drawing me back home. I'm a son that's come home. Surrender, and I'm surrendering. And, um, you know, dr draw near to me. Surrender. Trust me. i got to lose my other arm. Surrender. Surrender. Hold up the white flag. You know, it's not by our power, not by might. But it's by his spirit. Surrender to the spirit. Let him do a work. Let him do a healing work in your life, sons, daughters, children of God. He's drawn the prodigals home. He loves you so much. He's calling you home. He's lifting the veils of illusion. He's breaking the spell. 
He's breaking addiction in Jesus' name. He's breaking, he's sending out those that have been free to bring freedom, to carry his spirit, to carry his presence. The most important thing in this time you could do is to be a revolutionary of this great end time revival, revolution, spirit of God, carry the spirit of freedom, carry it, the spirit of God, surrender, know that you open doors through sin, let sin go fast, pray, he's, he's taking those desires from you, don't give up, don't give up, it's time to not give up, but to get up, the spirit is drawing you home, sons, He's drawing you home. His presence of love is drawing you home. And you're closing those doors to the enemy because sin opens the door to the enemy. We have to know sin is sin and it opens the door. We can no longer let him control our mind. You know what? When you start opening those doors, when you start saying, no, I don't believe this part of the Bible. No, I don't believe this, that part of the Bible. I like this part and that part. You create a new age Jesus that is nothing but fluff, some avatar of of love floating and we're going to do Reiki. We're going to do this. We're going to, oh, la, da, di, da. You know, no. I'm calling sons home. I'm calling sons to freedom. I'm calling sons to the gospel, which is Jesus loves you. He paid the price. He's washing you in his blood. He's delivered you. He's cleansing you. He's bringing freedom so they no longer have a hold or a place in you so you can go forth in power and authority and bring freedom to the others. He's given you the keys to the kingdom. He's given you the keys to death and hell. He's given you the keys to open up those prison cells and release. You're bringing release. You're bringing freedom. You're bringing freedom. You're free to bring freedom. And that's the dream I had. I love you guys. You're watching Tiavi, Tiavi TV. Rise up mighty ones the world is awaiting what are they waiting not for some new age manifesting they're waiting for the sons of god to manifest that's you children of god romans 8 waiting for the manifestation even the world the earth is waiting for you to speak to it with authority i love you guys i'll talk to you soon i'm gonna click this off bye bye